Hi guys, I'm just doing a quick uh, video update of some amendments to my setup that I've made uh, that might help inspire somebody. Um, now, I'm certainly no DIY expert and it's a bit of a Blue Peter job, uh, if you will. But to be honest, it still does the job, so I thought it's worth showing you. Um, so I've now added the second armrest to the table. and This really helps with hours of work because normally when you have your mouse... You, you keep your arm up and uh, this part of the arm would be forever in the air and over hours that would add up to a lot of fatigue and wrist pain um, down, the, down the road. So this enables you to just rest comfortably and there's one on the other side too and you don't have to use that, you could use that for something else if you wanted like your interface or whatever but I use it for my arms as well so I have my interface uh, on a separate table underneath. Um, I've also just bought a, a really highly rated uh, ergonomic footrest. Um, it looks quite small on this video, but it's much bigger. Um, and that's really comfy. Um, it just you just put it up on, on your feet. As I say, it doesn't it does it looks tiny on here, but it's it's bigger. Um, and this greatly relieves some pressure. Um, I've added this which is um, a cable, like, um, it's a bit, a bit like a hammock. Now, you can actually buy, believe it or not, a leg and foot hammocks that fit underneath the tables. Um, they've got bigger pads, um, big pads like about that, that fit along the wire as well. Um, but for now, I've just attached this wire myself. Um, I'll just have to swap the foam around to show you it. Set. So it just goes underneath, it goes round, and then it hooks onto a hole um, under here that I've set up. Um, I can't really see it at the moment unless I get under the chair, but um, when that's hooked in, that supports that supports my legs, um, and that greatly just takes like the little edge off over over hours of hours of use. And I don't always have to use it. Um, if they're feeling alright, I'll leave it off. Um, and then with regards to the armrests, it's just um, a couple of simple planks of wood, a couple of um, joins here, um, and then a pole. And I, I didn't have the full, um, one that was the full size, so I had to make do with the two little ones that I had and, and tape them together. And then um, underneath the carpet, there's some thicker cardboard to give it a bit of uh, compression and strength and then I've just routed routed the hole under the here for this to, to go into and sit in and then the same for that one but the poles are a bit different uh, but I need to get some uh, full size poles for that to make it look better than tape and then I just put um, um, a little headphone hook on the end of there and then uh, you know I'll paint all this up but I'm gonna actually put I'm gonna actually put um I've got loads of um spare carpet there i mean i'm not saying it's obviously not a uh, made for soundproofing but it's probably going to uh, resonate less with the carpet on it than the just the natural wood um so i'm gonna yeah just make use of what i've got basically and that's the idea of this video so i'm going to cover um the top and here with the um carpet with some uh, adhesive spray yeah uh, I need to move this really because it's a bit close here. This is me. Um, this is just a, a cup holder for when I'm having a drink, and I'll show you why I can't put it here now. Um, but this was, I'm going to move this. It's a bit too close here, and I sometimes knock into it. So <clears throat> I'm going to move that to just a bit further here, and then I need to do the same on this side for the mouse. And the reason is, which I'm going to show you, I have added a uh, chair wheels onto each uh, corner of my MIDI keyboard and the reason is this table didn't have any um, keyboard pull out uh, shelf and even if it did I don't like them and the reason is is because once you're in the seating position so for example I've got my seating position now is a real lovely perfect equilateral triangle um, I knocked my speakers before so they're actually not on the correct angle at the moment but, with, but uh, when they are on the correct angle where I'm sitting is a, the equilateral triangle. And um, 
I don't like to move. I don't want to move my listening position just because I want to play the keyboard. So I don't want to have to uh, push back on my chair and then pull out another um, shelf and then have to drag myself in again. I'd rather just stay put. So I've got my computer keyboard here. I've attached wheels to my MIDI keyboard and then I simply just drag it over um, and that's why I've got to move the mouse out of the way. So that's why I need to add a little platform here like on the other side. So when I want to play the keys, I just, just quickly, bomb put that there. So at the moment, I'll just move that over there. Um, and then, yeah, it just goes over the keys there. And then it pushes back because uh, it's on the wheels. So it's pretty cool. As I say, you don't have to change your listening position. It's covering slightly the bass ports there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna raise the speakers up. Um and uh, they're on the mo pads at the moment, but I'll just put some extra padding underneath the mo pads to, to raise them up. Um just above this bit of uh, the top of the, the MIDI keyboard, which is slightly obscure in the bass ports. <clears throat> and uh, to be honest, if, if I lift the uh, speakers up, I think that'll be more in fitting with the screen as well and keep that on a more even keel level for my personal uh, eye line. So, yeah, so that, well, that's the main thing I wanted to show you really, using what you've got and then this actual putting wheels on your MIDI keyboard so you don't have to change your listening position. It's really cool. I think that I think that was it really yeah